Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Verhoof. I'm one of the family medicine with OB providers here at Cass Health. I am originally from Pella, Iowa. I grew up on a small dairy farm there. Uh, lived there for 18 years. Um, I'm an Iowa native then. Um, I have uh, four brothers and two sisters, so come from a really, really big family. Um, went to both undergrad and uh, medical school here in the state of Iowa. Um, and then I've been out of the state for about four years and I'm now coming back to start working here at Cass Health. Um, it's nice to be back in the state. I really missed it while I've been gone. It's good to be back. I've always been interested in full spectrum family medicine. I grew up um, in a town that had a small hospital where all the family medicine docs did a lot of their own medicine. Um, and I've always been really impressed by that. On top of that, um, I grew up kind of doing a little bit of everything on the dairy farm. Uh, so I am definitely a person who uh, likes to try a lot of different things, um, provide a lot of different care. So I do everything from uh, office visits to procedures. I love to do OB, uh, it's one of my passions. Um, and then I also like the inpatient side, emergency medicine, urgent care, anything that can be done in medicine, I like to do. Good question. I like OB um, because it's a very short window of time. It's a nine month period in a person's life where there are a lot of change happens, um, followed by several more months as more changes happen. Now you have this new baby. Now you have a lot of healing that's going on after delivery. Um, so it's kind of a short window of time. And that's not true for a lot of diseases. A lot of diseases that I deal with are, are, are pretty chronic, you know, things like hypertension or diabetes, whereas this is one that's um, pretty complex for the for nine months. And then you have this complex delivery. And then you have um, this postpartum period that we have to help walk people through. And so it's uh, just you do a lot of good medicine in OB, um, and you can really have a great impact on people's lives, especially if you can give them a positive you know, prenatal period, a positive delivery experience, and then a positive postpartum experience. Um, and I think that's really important, uh, especially for me, uh, doing family medicine in a rural state like Iowa, there's not enough OB providers, not enough people around to deliver, to deliver babies. And so I knew I wanted to work rural, um, and if I'm going to work rural, I'm gonna do OB. Uh, so uh, OB has been a passion of mine most, mostly because I love rural areas and I, I love doing that healthcare. Uh, so I did residency in the state of South Carolina in Columbia, South Carolina at the University of South Carolina. Um, drawn to the University of South Carolina, they did a, um, they're very good procedurally, so we do a lot of procedures down there. Um, I do a lot of my own ultrasounds because we had excellent ultrasound training at the University of South Carolina. We have probably one of the best curriculums in the country when it comes to ultrasound, and so I do a lot of that with both my procedures and with my, uh, with my OB. Um, on top of that, we do fantastic adult medicine. Um, so we do a lot of inpatient medicine and a lot of outpatient medicine for some very complicated, uh, complex chronic diseases. And so I've, uh, I've always felt very confident with my chronic disease management. Um, on top of that, it is a state that is, um, it, although Columbia itself is not rural, there were some rural areas just outside the city you would drive 40 miles. Um, and so I did a lot of extracurricular activities for both moonlighting. I ran an urgent care out there every weekend. Um, and so I saw I was able to work with a lot of the rural communities out there and still get a good taste of that rural, um, rural training. Uh, and then for fellowship, honestly, I finished my training. I didn't feel very confident about my OB skills. And it was something I was really passionate about. So I applied for OB, got accepted to the um, Swedish First Hill training program out in Seattle, Washington. Um, so I moved out there right after I was done with my residency training and started working with the OBs out there. Um, that program is unique because you work with both the OB side and with the maternal fetal medicine or MFM side, which is really the OB specialists. Um, so I saw a lot of very high acuity OB. I ran a inpatient OB service for moms who were having complications during pregnancy and needed um, hospitalization from either a day to up to weeks in their pregnancy. And so you would see them progress their pregnancies, uh, see how things would uh, evolve. You would see multiple, multiple complications happen and have to respond to them as they did happen. On top of that, um, I got good training in my labor management um, and in my C-section skills. So I am certified to do C-sections um, as the primary physician. Um, and I feel very confident about it. I have. Um, done a lot of emergency C-sections. I've done a lot of planned C-sections. So I feel confident in my skills um, 
to be able to practice here in a rural setting where you have to be able to respond to those emergencies. I've seen them happen over the last year and I know I can respond to them effectively. I grew up with a family that were all very big Hawkeye fans and I personally, we have you know one MD school here in the state so I did go to the University of Iowa. Uh, now that being said, I do have six, or not six, I do have three siblings that did go to Iowa State University. Um, so while I will always root for Hawkeyes and Cyclones, if it's Hawkeyes versus Cyclones, I'm gonna, I'm gonna root for the Hawkeyes. Well, I haven't had a lot of hobbies in the last four years, I'll be honest. Uh, one of the things I picked up during the pandemic was gardening. I did a lot of gardening. Um, so grew up on a small farm. We definitely had a garden growing up. And then I picked that back up during residency. So I had some of the biggest tomatoes that I've ever grown before. South Carolina is fantastic for growing tomatoes. So we did a lot of like tomato sauces and salsas and things like that. Um, I also enjoy, um, I enjoy hiking. Uh, I did a uh, great road trip this summer as soon as we finished fellowship with my two youngest siblings. We went out to just about as many national parks on the west coast as we could and did a ton of hiking. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. So I love being outside. I love being in the great outdoors and I love um, hiking, climbing, things like that. Um, and I, then I also enjoy, you know, things at home. I do a lot of my own home maintenance. I love just kind of you know, putzing around my house and fixing outlets and painting and I'm currently working on staining my deck which has become a bigger project than I expected just due to some uh, structural issues but it's progressing. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I like to keep myself busy even when I'm not working in the hospital. I didn't actually intend to return to the state of Iowa. I knew I wanted to work somewhere rural but you know, I had left the state. I had loved being, uh, I, you know, I loved other areas of the country and really wanted to move somewhere with, with mountains, with hiking, with climbing. Um, and I looked for jobs all across the U.S. in kind of the mountainous country and then the state of Iowa because I'm from here originally. Uh, I figured that if I was going to move somewhere, I was either going to move somewhere with mountains or I was going to come back to the state of Iowa because it would be closer to family. I have friends here. Um, and I didn't find a job that I liked or that I thought was going to be safe for where I am in my current practice. Um, I do OB and I like doing high risk OB and I've seen some really terrible things that can go wrong in deliveries. And so I didn't want to end up at a hospital where something was going to go wrong and I thought that I wasn't going to be able to respond to it appropriately. And the nice thing about Cast Health is I have backup from, I have two OBs here, so I know that no matter what happens, I'll have somebody there who can back me up. I have a general surgeon here and then we are you know a short flight or a short ambulance ride away from, um, from some major hospitals and so regardless of what happens I know I can respond to it appropriately I know I can keep my patients safe um, and I know it's a great area for me to continue my training and just continue getting better with my skills um, so I chose Cass Health because it's in Iowa it's close to my family um, it does exactly the medicine that I want to do. It's rural health. I get to care for my patients out here. I know the people really well because I'm from this state. And then I know I can keep my patients safe and I can always provide the best care and not endanger them in any way.